Hello guys, today I'm going to show you something little different, a tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do not this, but the simple subscribe button. This I'm going to show you how to do this, and uh, without any delay, just let's get to it. So what I have done is I've set up a little frame for you. I've set up already set up my frame here. What I've done is I've got a small clip, any clip, just as I just said, I'm going to use it for the reference size of my button, the position, color, everything else. So without this, it would be a little bit difficult to gauge the size and the position of the button. Now, alternatively, you can do it by using the fusion tab, the new fusion composition, but I'm sure I'm going to show you this method today and uh, this is my frame so let's get to it go to the fusion tab and begin our composition fusion composition for our subscribe button and uh, i don't know why i'm doing this but <laughs> let's see how it goes uh, let's Go to the fusion tab here. We are in the fusion tab now. We have the media out here, the media in. So let's keep these aside for a little bit and uh, start doing our composition button. Composing the button. So now we need a background. Let's look at the background from that tab. Just put it down on the tab. Go to the get it out of the media select a good red similar to something to youtube whatever feels good for you that's fine there's no set pattern now let's get this triangle mask and connect it behind our background so what we get is this rectangle so now we can adjust the height and the width from the inspector tab I'm going to go in 7 and 3. This just looks about good. A little, little zoom in a little bit. I'm sure I'm going to show you something else. Now let's round the corners. If you go full, you round it. This just about looks good. Nice. Very nice. So now let's add some text to this. Pull down the text node. Select the text node. Type in the word subscribe. And put it on the output. What we want it, we want it on the foreground of the background that we have created. So what I'm going to do is get a merge node merge it together the text and the background merge it together in the merge node and put it on the screen voila we have it we have our button basic button ready now let's adjust some things adjust the size of the letters select the text node adjust the size Tracking distance between the letters is just about looks good. Yeah, I think this looks good. For select the font. I'm going to select the impact font. I love that font. It's really impactful. <laughs> and uh, whenever I find it, yeah, the button looks good. And now let's. Now one more thing we need to do is get one more merge mode and hold shift and the line turns blue release. So what we are doing is we are merging all these text background and the rectangle mask onto the output, the media out. And then we project it onto the screen. Now see that's the reason I use the clip. Now the button is too big. Need to adjust the size and the position of the button. 
for that we would need a transform node we can do it individually also but transform node makes it very very easy and quick so let's get a transform node let's merge connect our merge one to the transform in and the transform output to the merge two so what is what now we have done is everything that is happening behind the transform node is going is going to be affected about with what we do with the transform node so what is happening is everything is going to the transform node to the merge to and to output so you understand this flow and it's really very easy to use the DaVinci Resolve and uh, let's transform our button let's get the size down yeah that's this looks about right change the position this looks good and that's it we are done but one more thing we need to do is animate that button so how do we do that change it yeah, just about that good so as I said we need to animate that button so we can do it through the transform node or individually we can animate the text and the rectangle and the background can animate with the U and you see it just pops out of nowhere and goes out. This is the easiest animation you can do, otherwise you can do it with as I said, the text and everything else. So let's select the transform node, get the frame zero, size zero. up a little bit just bear with me let's get to the frame 20 and uh, size pops up at 20 emerges at 20 stays at the same size till frame 40 want it to stay there a little bit so we get a give a keyframe there at 40 where we're gonna keyframe at 20 and one more thing I want to I wanted to pop that button so what I'm gonna do is give keyframe at 50 and increase the size a little bit so it just comes out at 50 give keyframe there and at 60 it vanishes at frame 60 it goes to 0 voila animation is done boom let's see how it plays out it takes a few minutes to process and a few seconds to process not minutes Processing is started now. We are at processing frame one, and two, three, four. Oh, there we go. We started the process. Button comes up. At 40 stays same till 40. Pops out up at 50, and vanishes at 60. And that's it. This is the simplest subscribe button you can make in DaVinci Resolve do try it and it's very very easy once you understand the flow chart here it's very very easy I'll, I'll explain it once the flow chart what we have done is we have created a background added a rectangle to it to frame the selected a color here first of all then added a uh, rectangle adjusted the height and the width added text adjusted font color whatever you like merged everything merge one then we merged that one we put those that supply to transform like you know we may call it 
changed, did our animations, did our keyframes in transform and put everything into Merge 2 and Merge 2 has supplied it to the media out. It's very simple guys, just understand the flow and it, you can do wonders in this amazing free software, DaVinci Resolve. Now let's see how it plays in our edit tab. And uh, this also takes a few seconds to process and a few loop Let's see how it looks. There you have it guys. Simplest subscribe button under 5 minutes. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is my first attempt at doing a tutorial. So I need your encouragement. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.